Hello students, under the topic Lagrange's Partial Differential Equation, here we have problem 6. The question is, solve y is at p minus x is at q is equal to xy. Since this is of the Lagrange's form, let us compare this with the standard equation. The standard equation of the Lagrange's form is given by capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to capital R. So while comparing with the given equation, we observe that capital P is equal to y is it and capital Q is equal to so when we compare capital Q is negative x is it so negative x is it so without fail we have to write the negative sign and capital R is equal to x y. So we have compared the standard form with the given equation and we have obtained the value of P, Q and R. Next step is we have to write the auxiliary equation. It is given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. So let us take the value of P, Q and R and substitute in this auxiliary equation. So the auxiliary equation becomes dx by capital P is y is it and that is equal to dy by capital Q which is negative xz and that is equal to dz divided by capital R which is xy. So we have written the auxiliary equation. Now let us take this as 1 and this as 2 and this as 3 and now we shall compare the equation. So while comparing equation 1 and 2 we get dx by y z is equal to dy by negative x z. So if you see we have z on both the sides which can be cancelled. And so we will be getting the result as dx by y is equal to negative dy by x. So taking this x to the other side. So from this we get x dx is equal to negative y so taking this y to the right, negative y dy. Now we shall integrate on both the sides. So when we integrate the left hand side, the integration of x is x squared by 2. That is equal to, what is the integration of y? It is y squared by 2. And we have a negative sign here. So negative y squared by 2 plus a constant c1. So from this we obtain x squared by 2 plus y squared by 2 is equal to a constant c1. So, therefore, the constant c1 is this. Now, we can take the LCM here and finally, we can get it as x squared plus y squared is equal to 2c1. But 2c1 is again a constant which can be generally written as c1 itself. So, therefore, x squared plus y squared is equal to c1 is the first solution. Therefore, the solution u is equal to x square plus y square. So we have obtained the first solution u. In a similar manner we have to obtain the second solution v by, by comparing the other two. That is we can compare 2 and 3 or we can compare 1 and 3. It is of our choice. So we can uh, I am going to compare equation 2 and 3. So let me do that. So comparing equation 2 and 3. So I am comparing equation 2 and 3. I observe that I can cancel this x on both the sides and from this taking this y to the left we get y dy and that is equal to taking this negative x to the right we get negative z dz. Now integrating on both the sides what do we get what is the integration of y it will be y squared by 2 and that is equal to what is the integration of z it is equal to z squared by 2 and we have a negative sign before here. So let me write that negative sign here plus a constant c2. Now from this we can write y squared by 2 plus z squared by 2 is equal to a constant c2. Taking LCM we get y squared plus z squared to be equal to 2c2. But again 2c2 is a constant. So generally I am going to replace it by c2 itself. So therefore y squared plus z squared equal to c2 is the second solution. Therefore the solution v is equal to y squared plus z squared. So this is the second solution that we have obtained. Now we have to write the general solution phi of 
u comma v is equal to 0. So we can write phi of what is u? u is x squared plus y squared. So x squared plus y squared comma v. What is v? y square plus z squared is equal to 0. So this is the general solution. So hope you have understood this problem. We will get back with another problem in our next video. Thank you.